This great land of Bharat, also referred as Punya Bhumi, Karma Bhumi, Tyaga Bhumi and Moksha Bhumi is one of the ancient cultures and traditions of the world. The serious threat to this rich heritage and prosperous society is religious conversion. The Christian missionaries with support from the foreigners are attempting conversion all over Bharat. This menace of conversion has posed a severe challenge to the Hindu society. Sarve Janaha Sukhino Bhavantu, which means may all the human beings live with happiness, declare our Vedas. The revolutionary social reformer Anna Basavanna had vociferously condemned discrimination and had spread the fragrance of brotherhood among human beings through his vachanas. Rashtra Kavi Kuvempu has given the unique concept of Vishwamanava, the universal human being. Our philosophy has given the beautiful concept of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam or the whole universe is one family. Our culture sees God in each and every entity. The Christian missionaries have mistaken this generosity of our vivid culture for the weakness of Hindu society and are engaged in the act of conversion. This American based organization has openly declared its objectives, scope and mode of conversion. According to these missionaries, India is a land of dirt, filth and poverty. The people residing in about 6 lakh villages have not even heard about the real God. For them, the real God is crucified Jesus Christ. They have taken the responsibility of introducing Christ to Indians. But what are the means they have adopted to do so? The missionaries first enter the villages in the guise of social work. Offer jobs to pre-identified persons from local caste or community. They remain continuously in touch with those villagers only to build discontentment about Hinduism. Large get-togethers and mass healing programs are organized. Through these massive programs they create a make-believe environment that all diseases, disabilities, psychological disorders can be cured merely by touching. And it is this dip through which they baptize people. Is it true then that the people who are embracing Christianity are denying the Hindu philosophy and have understood the Bible properly? Not at all. And Jesus said, Go, and I will make you fishers of men. As the missionaries themselves put it, people are trapped into the casted nets. These conversions are neither intellectual nor spiritual. Such case of cheating innocent Hindus for conversion has centuries of dark history. The impact is on the integrity of our nation. The culturally rich tribal communities have been entirely converted in the seven sister northeastern states of Bharat, thus motivating the demand for independent nations. About 95% of the population in Mizoram, 80% in Tripura, 70% in Manipur, 95% in Nagaland and 75% in Meghalaya are converted Christians. 
the slogans like Indian dogs are not allowed. The need for a visa-like inner line permit to enter Nagaland have challenged the sovereignty of Bharat. These states are shaken to the roots by terrorism due to conversion. What an irony! The messiahs of peace are sowing the seeds of hate. It is for this reason Swami Vivekananda had declared that a religious conversion is not just change of religion but change of nationality. Had an opportunity to make a law, Mahatma Gandhiji preferred a law against religious conversion. Also, great personalities like Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and Babu Jagjeevan Ram advocated against religious conversion. Nama Bharatiya Samvidanada Kalam Ipataidara Anvaya Mata Prachara Madhita Kantadu Tatyaba Bharatiyana Vichara Adikyaude Adiyatan Kralila Adre Balavantavagi Matabarana Matantara Gulisvodu Kanunu Bahirana Takantadu Namanyaya Legalu Yagalis Pasta Padiside Conversion by fraud, by coercion, by misrepresentation or by any deception that is prohibited in the law. Namma Devaru, Namma Dharma, Matto, Namma Desha, the interaction in the Drusti in the Videsha Dinda, Aridubarata Kanta, Hanavanu Tadebeka Gote, Hagagi Matantaravana, Nam Nilisbodo. Article 25 of the Indian Constitution has given us the freedom of conscience and free profession, practice and propagation of religion. Several codes have clarified that freedom to propagation of religion does not mean conversion. But these missionaries have taken disadvantage of the freedom provided through our Constitution. Most importantly, they are funded by the persons and organizations abroad for this illegal activity. What then could be the reasons? 